Hey, pleasant special day, everybody. This is Sportsnet News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be our next AHL Calder Cup Playoff Series preview as we look at the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Baby Penguins against the Springfield Thunderbirds as the T-Birds were right on rolling into this postseason after a great regular season. It'll be interesting to see if they show the effects of what the Charlotte Checkers and Utica did where they didn't get off to the best first period start but then still beat their opponents in the end because of being off for so long from that bye. And Wilkes-Barre, of course, recently skating in game action, which there's nothing the same as that. So it'll be interesting to see that. But in the end, let's get into what we think this overall series will be. First of all, I'll go over it quickly because I didn't get to preview uh, Wilkes-Barre series that they won game one, lost the second, and won the third. And the three-gamer, Redeem Zahorna, was the MVP of that series, hands down was great in all facets, able to set himself up in front of the net, set himself up for shots, set his teammates up like a wizard. Alexander Nylander was also good as a guy that maybe they can still develop into something there in Pittsburgh. Uh, Nylander was very good in this series. P POJ is obviously someone they expect to be good. Samuel Poulin was good. So if they can keep getting play from guys all the way down to like the Will Rileys, the Bellaries of the world, that would be huge because this team... <clears throat> needs to have depth scoring if they want to have any chance to beat the Thunderbirds because that's what the Thunderbirds live on. They go down to their 15th skater this year, um, had 20 points. And then their 16th guy was Kyle, Kyle, uh, Tyle, excuse me, Tyler, Jesus, if I could speak, Tucker, um, who's a good two-way defenseman who can also produce some points. Santini, the good veteran that can hit guys off the puck. Good playoff style guy, so is Callie Rosen, so is Tommy Cross, guys that have been around for a minute, Nikita Alexandrov, obviously a rookie that's produced very well, Nathan Walker's been great this year at whatever level, Hugh McGing's been very good for them offensively, still developing his defense, Anas is their leading scorer, Matthew Pekka obviously um, as well. So, I would say the speed when you have the Packers, you have the Anasas, you have um, all those guys, and you had the skill with the McKings, with the James Neal, who's come down and really brought that veteran uh, presence down there. I think the Thunderbirds um, are just too big of a contest for most teams. They're, they're one of the favorites. Let's just call a spade a spade. I mean, the Thunderbirds are one of the favorites in general, where I kind of was looking at that first round series where I got, I ended up getting that wrong. That was the one in the first round of the best of threes. I actually did get wrong. Somehow I got the rest of them right um, by being able to analyze it and get it right. But the uh, that's one that I got wrong. And uh, whoever won, though, I never saw them advancing at all past the uh, Springfield Thunderbirds. That just wasn't realistic. The Thunderbirds and the Charlotte Checkers have two of some of the better chances. Somewhere you would rank them in the top four, the top five to make the entire Calder Cup. I would put Wilkes-Barre Scranton maybe in that dark horse candidate race, especially um, after they were still able to show that Tommy Napier is able to be the guy that he needs to be in cage for them since Louis Deming is up getting it done for the Pittsburgh Penguins and could help them clinch that series this evening where Napier stepped up and then some against the Hershey Bears. The problem is he's still a rookie, so similar to what I said, that could give a little bit of a chance um, to the underdog um, when it came to the Colorado Eagles, uh, or could give a little bit of a detriment to their team, I should say, not a chance to the underdog, but could give a detriment to the team. Is it still a rookie goaltender, just like Eustace and Noonan is a rookie goaltender for the Colorado Eagles? Tommy Napier is for the Wilkes-Barre, Scranton Penguins, and those guys can sometimes hit a playoff rut. But if neither do, then their team's going to have a good chance. But I picked the rain in that series. Not just for that reason. There's multiple other reasons. And you can go check it out in that video that goes into it. Uh, but also, in this series, I'm definitely picking the Thunderbirds. Because just like the rain are a deeper team, in my opinion, than the um, Colorado Eagles. Not by as much there. In this one, the Thunderbirds are one of the more depth-ridden teams. Where Wilkes-Barre has been able to figure it out and win in different ways, whether it's defense, whether it's Domingue stepping up, whether it's Napier having a big game, whether it was DiOrio having a big game for them in season. Not the sexiest overall two-way play that they're sound defensively, sound offensively every night out. They were one of those teams that battled their way into the postseason 
I don't see that working out against. You're not going to be able to play that battle brong style against the Springfield Thunderbirds. You're going to be able to knock you off the puck, get it going, accelerating the other way, moving north quickly. So I'm definitely taking the T-Birds in this one. This has been a series preview of the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins versus the Springfield Thunderbirds. Haps up, though, to the Penguins for having a great first-round series and to Tommy Napier for playing like a bat out of hell. Good for the rookie to continue to improve no matter what happens in this series where, again, I'm picking the Thunderbirds because I think they're just so vast, such a good put-together team on offense and defense. It's great to see Napier, another un-rookie, uh, un-rookie, un <laughs> drafted rookie goaltender, um, be able to progress nicely as a youngster and really step up in the postseason. And uh, you always wish for those things to see even more young goaltending talent come in, so maybe Napier eventually will get a chance up in the majors with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.